Hello and welcome you're watching Don Bosco Media Network. This is Mona Lisa Rumbai, brings you the solution news across the globe. On January 27th, Cilicians, members of the Cilician family and many faithful gathered to celebrate the 60th anniversary of the foundation of the Don Bosco Church in Bangkok. Cardinal Michael Michai Kitbunchu, Archbishop Emeritus of Bangkok, presided over the celebration along with Father Anthony Boonlert, Superior of the Province of Thailand, THA. In the afternoon, the Cilician Family Day took place, led by Father Dominic Savio Sufort Ruingam, Provincial Delegate for the Cilician Family. Those present after watching the video of the Rector Major Strena 2024 were divided into groups to share ideas and reflections on the theme of the day, the dream that makes you dream. The Don Bosco Theological Centre in Kavarepetai, Chennai hosted a youth festival in recent days which brought together a total of 420 young people. The meeting, whose theme was learning the values of Christ in the lives of young people and which recalled the atmosphere of Valdoco Oratory, marked the beginning of the celebrations in honour of Don Bosco. The animation was significant, led by Father Maria Sagayaraj, who motivated young people to reflect and faithfully observe the values of Christ to become good young Christians and upright citizens. After the Mass and a moment of fraternal agape, the young people took the opportunity to showcase their multiple talents through the cultural program chaired by Father John Christi Iru Dayam, Provincial Delegate for Youth Ministry. This youth festival proved to be a dynamic and transformative experience for all participants, fostering a deeper bond with the values of Christ. From 15 to 19 January 2024, the Cilician Run Oratory of St. John Bosco in Sizek Clinic organized a winter camp for children. The leader of this recreational event was Father Micha Kwiatkowski, SDB, assisted by Sister Marta Napora, FMA, Sister Joanna Zak, FMA, and the leaders. 49 participants, including children and young people, enthusiastically took part in the various activities of integration, a trip to the forest district of Sizi Clinic, a trip to the Plia at the bowling radio for bowling and pizza, indoor sports activities, a trip to, our, to an alpaca farm with bonfire and sausages, film screening. There was plenty of time for singing, group activities, prize competitions, art lessons, riddles, snow games and fun. Every day it began with a prayer and at the end of daily activities there was a Salation Good Night. On Sunday 28th, January 2024, the fourth Sunday of Ordinary Time, Cardinal Angel Fernandez Artime, Rector Major of the Salations of Don Bosco, blessed and inaugurated the new chapel of the Word of God at the Salation headquarters which has undergone extensive renovation work in recent months. It was a very simple and at the same time a meaningful rite during which the community of the Salesian headquarters could rejoice in the dedication of the space for prayer and a space for fraternal com communion at the table of the Divine Word. The social communication team of the Cambodia Salesian delegation of the province of Thailand organized a two-day innovative program, Voices, at Don Bosco Kep, a technical school and children's centre at the southeast seacoast of Cambodia on the 27th and 28th of January, with the participation of representatives from eight indigenous groups. As a continuation of the second version of the Voices program launched at Hua Hin, Thailand in September 2023, Father Albero Rodas and Mr. Boni Suan, a Don Bosco kept past pupil and a young indigenous Jarai leader, designed the third edition of Voices extending invitation to different indigenous groups of Cambodia, mainly in the northern province of Reta Nikiri and also in other provinces like Odar Menche, the ancestral land of the Kui people, to come and express themselves. So, viewers, that is all we have for you today. Until we meet again, thank you for watching.